the subject mechanical system design today we will discuss about uh, unit number 5 of our uh, subject uh, design of ic engine components now ic engine we know it is internal combustion engine used for uh, vehicle or various uh, agriculture equipments uh, which is acts as a prime mover or source of the energy so there are different components present in the ic engine uh, with the design we are going to learn in this unit so the parts to be designed in this unit the parts for the ic engine design or the various components of ic engines are first important component is the cylinder and cylinder liner uh, then uh, second important component is the piston that is the piston head or it is also called as a piston block a piston ring and then gudgeon pin or it is also called as a piston pin the next third important component of the ic engine is the connecting rod which is the mediator part for the piston and crank shaft next is a crank shaft and crank pin so these are the important parts uh, that we are going to design in this unit so first is a uh, you can see the cylinder and what is meant by cylinder and cylinder liner so this uh, outer portion or component is called as a cylinder block and inside there will be a cylinder liner this green portion you can observe as a cylinder liner so this uh, design of the cylinder and cylinder liner we have to make into consideration or we have to perform in this unit so uh, the important condition for the cylinder and cylinder uh, liner design is nothing but the material uh, selection then uh, various dimensions uh, wall thickness then uh, Uh, various types of stresses induced in the cylinder that we are going to that we have to define while uh, designing the cylinder and cylinder liners a uh, cylinder liner is nothing but a cylindrical part fitted into the engine block to form a cylinder so this uh, component is called as a cylinder liner uh, next uh, it serves as a inner wall of a cylinder forms a sliding surface for the piston rings while retaining the lubricant within so this is called as a cylinder liner and outside part is called as a cylinder then here uh, also you can observe the sectional view of the cylinder liner here a uh, water jacket is provided for a cool acts as a coolant uh, then uh, the cylinder liner it allows a longitudinal expansion for the working of the piston into the cylinder then uh, types of liners or cylinder liners are there are two types of liners are there one is a dry liner and second one is a uh, wet liners so the you can observe the water jackets are provided or sectional view of dry liner and wet liner here so water jackets are provided uh, to avoid the uh, heat more heat uh, generation so it will uh, reduce the heat effect of heat into the uh, cylinder while working of the piston cylinder or ic engine next this is a 2d diagram of the cylinder and cylinder liner so you can observe that this is a top dead center for the cylinder and this is a bottom dead center for the cylinder then uh, do is the outside diameter of the cylinder and d is the inner diameter of the cylinder then uh, th is the uh, thickness of the head of the cylinder then uh, t is the thickness of the cylinder and tf is the flange thickness of the cylinder then uh, this uh, distance is uh, called as a p circle diameter of the cylinder then the distance between top dead center or the length between top dead center to bottom dead center is a uh, stroke length that is denoted by l and the entire length of the cylinder is uh, is the capital l denoted by capital l next so the cylinder flange thickness is calculated by using the formula so it is a uh, always equal to the 1.2 times to 1.4 times to the thickness of the cylinder so this is the flange thickness that we are going to calculate it by using the formula 
then the cylinder head thickness that is the th so th is uh, equal to the capital d into under root of k into p max upon uh, sigma c where k is the constant whose value is always uh, taken as a 0 0.162 sigma c is the allowable circumferential stress for the cylinder head therefore sigma c is equal to sigma t is equal to sut upon factor of safety so that will be always equal to between the 30 to 50 megapascal so this will be the allowable stress as well as the working stress or circumferential stress uh, for the cylinder this is the first next uh, makes the assembly of the cylinder cylinder head and gasket so this will uh, denote the assembly for the cylinder uh, cylinder head and gasket so the loads are nothing but a preloading uh, due to the spanner the stud and further due to the internal pressure of the piston head so these are the uh, loads acting on the cylinder second one is a, a nominal diameter of the stud number of stud and pitch of the stud so this is again next uh, we are considering the f1 here uh, as acts as a gas pressure on the cylinder head which is always equal to the area into the p max so pi by 4 d square uh, into p max then f2 is the resisting force by the stud so z into pi dc square by 4 into sigma t therefore f1 is equal to f2 in equilibrium condition therefore a dc is equal to capital d into p max upon uh, z into sigma t Therefore, DC is nothing but a core or minimum diameter and small d is nothing but a nominal diameter, which is a DC by 0.8. Therefore, P circle diameter of the stud, which is equal to the DP, is, is denoted by or calculated by the formula D plus 3D. Then pitch of the stud is equal to the pi DP by J. Then number of stud is calculated by using this formula. Therefore, range of pitch of stud is equal to the 19 root of D to 28.5 root of D. So by using this, uh, you can uh, calculate the uh, pitch of the stud. Then bore and length of the cylinder liner. So the L is equal to 1.5 times D. That is, uh, L is equal to 1.5 times D divided by 1000 in meter. Therefore, the number of uh, working strokes per minute is denoted by small n is equal to capital N by 2. So that will be 700. So the efficiency, the formula for efficiency is a break power divided by indicated power. Therefore, indicated power is equal to break power upon efficiency. So uh, using the formula, finally, we can calculate the bore diameter. So bore diameter that will be equal to 124.9 is equal to the 125 mm. Then stroke length we calculate as the 187.7 mm. So that will be equal to 188 mm. Then length of the cylinder is equal to 1.15 into L. So that will be equal to 216 mm. So in this way we can calculate the bore length or bore diameter. Then stroke length that is L and length of the cylinder.